Hello, welcome back to Fairy Tale Dungeons. I actually do want to test run the Labyrinth Depths 3 star. I don't know if we have the correct builds for it though. Actually, yeah, I probably won't do it today. I feel like the ideal run for for that difficulty is going to be the Great deck, obviously. And then I really want to build... I want a better Urza deck. I think my Urza deck is lacking. Yeah, it is a... Yeah, I think it is. What's... What is this looking like? So activate magic chain, attack up. Uh, the thing is, we don't have good magic chains. Yeah, that's the problem. It's a lot of magic chain combos. This is so good, though. Holy shit. Like, these are so good. I think I might just run on Urza again and try to build a better deck. Because I, I do want my final team to be... Probably Urza Gray and Lucier Wendy. We do need another Wendy deck, I think. We could do a Wendy run. Huh. Yeah, I'll just do I'll just do a Wendy run, I think. I want a better support deck than the Ah, oh, but can I win on difficulty three with Wendy? I don't think I can. It, it's too hard. Alright, let's just do Urza then. I want a better Urza deck. And she didn't yeah, she hasn't run difficulty three yet. I'm gonna start. Should I just run the damage increase on, on everybody? Because I don't know who's coming in in the dungeon. I'd rather have the 4 attack up, though. Ah, this doesn't stack. That's the only problem. I think Wendy should be the one to carry this. Although her runs are going to be harder, so maybe I just want... Yeah, you know what? That, that's, that's convincing enough. I think Wendy's runs are harder, so she probably wants the 4 attack up for 4 turns. And then we'll just use... I think the base combo, right? This I don't. This one's terrible. Yeah, I'm just gonna run this and this. That looks good to me. All right, let's get it. Difficulty three, Urza. Could be a good time here. I'm gonna go this way. Skill tree is looking. That's a good one. Very good one. Could lean into AOE a little bit. The rest is bad, uh, except for this. I don't exactly know what this is, but we'll see. I like the double AOE um, kind, of, kind of direction. I think I have to redraw. Ah. Shame. That's unfortunate. Taking some damage here. I was hoping for the AOE so I can just kind of get out of jail free and kill both. At least I think I would have killed both. Who knows? Same thing here, this is like not gonna work out. Just have to do the Just have to do the half damage hit. I should not have hit that in the first... oh, I should have hit the the goblin. This was blocking or had block. Teleport starts to run. I'm just playing this kind of carelessly for no reason. Ten, so I can do this. Wait, that's not lethal, is it? All right. Okay, I need to focus. <laughs> this is not... I might have to restart. That was such a disaster. We'll see what we get. I think Urza is the easiest character to play on this difficulty, though, so... I don't think I'll get punished, but... That was a disaster. I just played that way too fast. I've been playing Shogun Showdown a lot, so... Kind of rushing into things. Same thing here. Should I go for it? It'll be... That was like 12 damage, right? So it'll be 10, 12, and then I can... Yeah, I can kill. So I should go for it. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna play a little bit slower. That was much better already. 6 max HP. Not great. Okay, perfect. This is exactly what I want. Another copy of the Circle Sword so we can have two chances at finding Magic Chains. And also, that's the card that chains with the other card that we have to unlock. I guess we're just going to take some damage here. Good crit. Not enough. 
But I think I just mitigate damage here. I'll take two. It's better than drawing. And I know the wolf's not going to attack this turn, so... Not lethal. I could have tried. I guess I should have tried. This could, this could have crit. Oh no, I can't. That's not the right card. The crit card's the one I just drew. Crit boost. Not bad. Not bad. Definitely like the crit boost. Ooh, that's also the card that can... Activate a different magic chain. We should take that. Who knows? I might leave that door open. Eight plus six, so it's not enough, but I guess I can do eight, ten, six. And if it crits, it probably just kills straight up, so I can just. Yeah, okay, it did. Alright, that was clean. That was really good. Fish is good. Yeah, again, Urza, one of the more consistent characters, I think. So, making that massive misplay is probably not going to hurt me as much. Oof. Odds of me killing that? Not very high. Does that mean I just redraw for defense? Like, trying to find this or this? Or I just don't redraw and take the 15, which is probably correct. Or I use this potion as a heal 15 now. Just forget it. I'm gonna take the 15. It could be worse, like, the, we could redraw into nothing and then I take 15 plus 4. Which is worse, obviously. I would have found the block, but... That only heals me for 3, technically. Okay. I do want the 12 cards. I do want to wait a little bit longer. I'm definitely going to discard a card here. Surely I can find one more in four moves, right? Yep. Please give me a skill. No. Eight Lacrima. Sure. Really, what you're looking for in events are additional skills. That's the really important thing. Oh, holy shit. Really bad draw. Okay, good. 12, 10, 12, dead. Order's wrong. Good thing this isn't attacking on turn one. Man, I love Urza. Definitely my second favorite character. Most fun to play, I think. I think Gray is fun because he's broken, but the way he plays isn't as fun as Urza. So there's that for sure. Yeah, 60% chance to create. This, this card is good. This is a good example of a good two mana card. Like, I like this. This is one of my favorite two mana cards. I think this is really well balanced. It makes sense. Like, it's just a very high chance to crit. Am I taking it? Probably. Maybe. I mean, I need an extra card, so I might as well. It is a good card, so. Okay, we found the synergy. This is terrible, so... But yeah, I'm taking this, and then we can unlock the... So, big AoE damage. It's gonna be good for the party dungeon. Another potential chain. Start a battle crit boost, that's not bad. Start a battle plus one MP, that's also not bad. Pretty... The only issue I have with these... Is that they're not recurring effects. So, yeah, sure, you get a boost turn one, that's useful. In party dungeon, not as much, because... You're sweeping all fights anyways with your three-man party, usually. So... It's more so boss fights, and these do not really help against boss fights. Maybe the three-turn crit boost does, though. I'm definitely gonna lean towards that one. Okay. Well, I'm probably... Going to mitigate damage on turn one. I don't think it attacks twice in a row. No, it doesn't. Alright, so we can just do this.
deal 30 damage. I kind of wasted some damage there, but... Oh, I don't want to... Shit, I forgot. I don't want to activate it here. So I'm just going to do this. You want to give yourself as many turns as possible. That's kind of a weak play, but... Because otherwise it'll start attacking immediately. This is also somewhat unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I wish that block was an attack card, but I don't want to reroll for it. It's okay. Oh, it's not attacking. Okay, good. I was I was thinking I might need the block, but I don't. Poison. Now it's attacking. That's a lot of damage. Holy shit. Um, things are getting... Okay, remove debuffs. Nice. Okay, that's usually not useful, but I found a, found a use for it, which is huge. I usually forget to even check that. We're almost there. Poison ticks for three, usually. Okay, so that is not enough. Odds of me killing here, 28. If I hit this, pretty high chance, because I have the crit buff. If I hit the combo, let's say I hit this, and... Actually, I won't have... Oh, this is tough. I only have one, one mana card. But, to be fair, I also have two defensive cards, so I could just roll for that. I don't know if it attacks twice in a row. It might. Okay, it does. Oh, that's not enough damage. Holy shit. It sucks. What are the odds of... This killing? Nope. I guess it can kill. So actually I made a mistake then. I didn't think it would attack again. Whatever. I should have attacked. Oh my god, the crit! Huge! So lucky. 20%. Okay. So my misplay on, on stage 1 almost cost me there. I feel like I kind of have to talk to Labby, you know? I want this node. Maybe mana is good because we have access to two mana cards pretty consistently. Like, there's three that I would want to use, so it's not really... Like, it would help me in the solo dungeon, not necessarily after, though. I'm still going to remove, I think. Hmm. No, I, I think it's always worth talking to Lobby. You can get a replacement effect. Okay, nice. Maze Fruit is good, for sure. I'm happy to get a Maze Fruit. That was 100% worth. Does that mean I use the Maze Fruit now? I do think this crit chance buff is worth it. And arguably the, yeah, arguably the mana buff as well. Maybe I will get both of these. Sure, they're not recurring effects. I mean, this is three turns. This should definitely be more valuable. Okay, I don't like these too much. I might roll this, but we're going to wait anyways. Direction. Probably up here. Yeah, up here. Down, back to campfire. Yeah. Please give me a skill. Another maze fruit. Oof. Okay, three Lacrimite, for the most part, is not going to be relevant. So I'm just going to Maze Fruit it up. I have the crit boost, I'm just going to hope. I'm just going to pray that it kills. Nice crit. Should kill. Nice. Still not, not very healthy, really. Definitely not healthy enough to redraw. 
Good crit. Oh, I think I have to redraw here. Guaranteed kill. We're actually not like I, I feel like I could die. That is a little bit scary. I don't think I want another copy of that. It's a little bit redundant. Powers increased dodge boost. No, I hate this. Another crit chance though. I'm usually happy to see that. This card just sucks. 20% chance to stun. I don't don't value that too much at all. I think I am gonna take that. Still opens up this thing. I have I seen that card? Oh wait. Is that morning star armor? No, that's not right. No, it's purple. AoE. Oh, it's a proton thing. That's so bad. I'm just gonna grab this. Please a skill. Please, 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 please. Okay, that's big. Five block grants, so five block every turn. Another AoE. This one is okay, but... I mean, I do want one extra. Yeah, but I don't... No. I like this, but I just... I'm looking for the perfect deck here, so we're probably not taking it. What to do. Plus one mana. Could be huge. It could really be huge. I think it's worth it. I am struggling here. I need the help. I think I will knock it. Magic chain dodge boost. That's really good. So I'm going to grab that. And then roll, probably. Oh my god. Oh, hell no. Oh, I might be dead here. But I have... I am stacked right now. Mana, crits. If I can hit the combo here, I got it. So I think we're good, right? Wow. Thankfully, thankfully we're strong enough to get through. <laughs> I used the dodge boost for no reason, but I got another one, so... Yes, it is what it is. To remove... No, I need the... I actually need the Lacrima. I gotta get this node. Or we have a chance of dying. Please give me Lacrima Lobby. Yep. Oh my god. Can I... Shit, no. Well, I guess I wouldn't take it anyways. Because I, I gotta keep that dodge mushroom. All right, magic chain dodge boost. Now we can roll. Yeah, now we can roll. Start of battle attack up. Start. User's debuff extended, not great. Crit boost at low health, okay. Crit dodge boost, that is great. So we're taking that. Two tiles, definitely want to go to vents. Okay, easy, easy, easy fight. No need to redraw, I think. Oh, I start with five block, I forgot. Yeah, this thing, I don't... Wait, what does this do? I don't know. I don't remember seeing this guy. Oh, just attack up? It's just so bad. It is a normal fight, though, so... What do you really expect? If I didn't take... How much extra damage did I take on stage one? Probably like an extra 15, at least. What was that least? Oof. I mean, I I need it. Like, I actually, I do need the fish, so. Can't afford to go for the big one. It's really crucial. Okay, can't, can't get it, but. And we're also not at 15. This is kind of an unfortunate number here. This boss, I think, is easy. Or not. 27 on turn 1. 
Does he attack on turn two, though? Very good question. But I have some blocks, so... I'm just gonna assume that he doesn't attack on turn two. Like most bosses. Does not attack on turn two. Okay. Good enough. What is this? Uh, is this a buff? Attack up. Okay. Should I keep cycling? Like that 5 HP could make the difference. That's the, that's the only problem I have with that. Guaranteed to find this combo at least. So I guess I'll just use this. Or do I want to go for... Actually, I would not want to cast that. So I'm going to go for this. So we have one or more magic chains. Easy, but I don't want to do it immediately. So we're just going to go for this. Buff myself a little bit. Still have the fish in our back pocket. Charging. Whoops. Oh, that is the wrong order. I almost screwed it up. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be careful about that one. Okay, nothing happening again. Do have dodge still up? Retaliatory stance not happening. Get another dodge boost here. Yeah, again, this boss is one of the easier ones. I do remember that, so I was pretty confident going in. There's the 27. Okay, I will actually use this now. I have a, as many opportunities to dodge. I guess I don't want to proc the stance. Surely it's going to dodge. I have three, 25, 25, oh no, yeah, 20, 25, 25, 60, right? 60 still up. Just in case I'll block? I don't think it's going to attack next turn. It already did twice. Nope, 60% scam. 60% scam. I think I, I do actually have to redraw here. Gotta kill in two turns. I have to kill in two turns, it's risky. I don't know if it's gonna attack again. It's a big disadvantage that I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah, it does attack, okay. And I still don't have enough. Okay, last card. Guarantees, guarantees the chain. That will be 18... 23, not enough. Which means there's no reason for me to redraw unless I'm looking for defensive cards. Okay, what if this crits? I mean, either way, I have to crack this. If this crits, then it will kill. But it's only 30% chance. I think I'd rather... Well, obviously, I would rather not take damage. I still have a 25% chance. I think I just don't redraw. Just accept that it might. I might take 27 here. Yeah, this is pretty scary. That The fact that the 60% mushroom didn't, didn't work... ...is pretty bad. We're in trouble. I definitely fucked up. Yeah, I should have. I should have a little bit more HP here. Floor one screwed me over. All right, definitely need this. I feel like I have to talk with Labby because I need the healing potentially. Yep, and twenty max HP. Nice. And now we have this. Black Rama. So now we're in a pretty okay position, I'd say. 
Activate a magic chain attack up. That's good. Definitely want that. How much do I want to take fights? Not... <laughs> I don't really want to take fights. What? Oh, I got the delayed click again. I keep doing that sometimes. I just... My mouse... Uh... My mouse clicks are actually pretty heavy. Sometimes I feel like I'm pressing it. I'm not pressing it enough. It's like it delays the click. It's really bad. That was super bad. Oof. Big. Big heal. Big heal. But I, I did troll a little bit with the lacrima. Hopefully it doesn't matter. No debuff. I think I would actually take this note. It's not great, but... Odds of me rolling into better? Actually, pretty high, I would say. This no, this no, this... Yeah, I could re-roll here. I think I still have to remove some basic attacks, but it's not a massive deal. This is not good. Wow, horrible turn one. Very, very bad turn one. I think I could use the three attack on turn one, actually. It feels like we're not out of the woods yet, even in normal fights. That's not enough, so I do have to use the potion here. Oh shit, they're both... They're both attacking, what? You gotta be kidding me, I, I at least have to kill one here. Please tell me this kills. I just got a crit. I need one crit. Right? Thank goodness. Oh, wait, what? It wasn't enough? Even with the crit? Shit. I actually didn't expect that. <laughs> uh, That sucks. 42. I couldn't do 42. So 8, 6, 20. Oh, no, it wasn't 20. The medicine's huge. Very good campfire. I need to remove cards. I need to add cards too. Okay, this is terrible. Crit. Maybe the stun is what I need at this point. No. It's too low chance. It's too low impact. I think it's got to be the crit again. The fact that I have to go to an elite for this is terrifying. Do I even bother removing? I think I have. I have to, right? Too many bad cards, but then we're. We're losing our two attack buff, which is pretty relevant. Going into a fight, I'm losing my two attack buff. But it's like, this deck is not playable right now with the, the normal attacks. Holy moly, this is really bad, actually. Whoa, this is not looking good. The fact that I can't kill this on turn one... I think I should have unlocked this node over this, actually. I didn't realize fights would be as hard as they are. Still. There's not much I can do. I mean, if this crits, I can kill this, but... It's not too much of a Hail Mary. I kind of have to go onto the Evil Wolf. Terrible, terrible situation. I'm very thankful for the um, the five block gain though. That's that's so huge. That's been healing me a lot, technically. Crit boost, so I can go. Should I redraw here? I don't think so. Oh, I have a chain, potentially, coming. Oh, that was a normal attack, whoops. I forgot that was a normal attack. Oh, no. I got another one. Thank goodness, that is terrifying. Yeah, I have so many normal attack, thankfully, still left in my deck. <laughs> it's very helpful here. Alright, 
Yeah, the only threatening part about this monster is the turn one 24 damage, or like, I don't remember exactly how much it is, but it's a lot. This is good. Definitely want to take it. I want 15 anyways, so. Two turn dodge boost mushroom could be really good, could be really bad, it depends. Hmm. I want to stay on 15. I don't know if there's any... Yeah, there's... It's not consistently going to give me a removal, so... Probably just pass here. I think Event is better than Fighting. Stop. Hmm. Yeah, this is big. Nice. At this point, I don't I don't exactly know if the... Do I want to take one event or two fights? Interesting. I don't know if the quick attack boost is better now. Because we're almost there, and I... Uh, I feel like it is still... Is it... Okay. What are the... What, what am I looking for? Probably like chain plus one mana. That'd be insane, but I don't I don't know if I can get that. Buff duration, buff duration is not that good either. I'm gonna keep that. I can proc both goblins next turn with that. Normal fights should be pretty easy. Whoops. Yeah, that was damage. Should die anyways. Order was wrong too, but... Defense up for two turns. Fine. Should have, should have gotten that first, but... Damn, one tile off. Hmm. Maze fruit or no maze fruit? It's not like I can get this before the end anyways. So it's only if I consider this relevant in the party dungeon, which... I would argue it's not relevant. It's not as relevant as hitting like a... Activate on chain something. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, okay, this is not... Terrible. All right. I yeah, I regret doing that, but I mean, just for the chance of getting something better, sure. This is not too bad. It's definitely worse than three attack up three turns, I think. Or maybe not. Okay, this is not an easy fight. I, whoa, that sucks. That's probably the only thing I don't want to face, just a high health enemy. I might... I don't, actually, I could have almost one shot it. <laughs> That's close. Eh, at least I made it get 5 damage. We're at 100. I think at 100 I'm pretty safe. And we still have the dodge mushroom. And we still have medicine. Nice. So that made up for it. Nothing I can do here. So we're on our own here against uh, the easiest boss in the game for me. So that's good RNG, unlike Gray's previous run, <laughs> where I hit the worst possible boss. Okay, let's hold this. Redraw, just hit, hit AoE. Kill this. All right. All right. That's good enough. Deal with the gobbos. The goblins. Sure. I still have one chain I can go for. I'm gonna summon again, right? Yep. 
So if I get the AoE chain, that could be huge. I did. Especially needed on the... Well, I guess I could just kill the Goblin Assassin. It's not that bad. If it summoned two Goblin Assassins, that would have been dangerous. But it, it never does. It's always a Priest and Assassin here. Kill 10 or more with single card. Sure. I think I might just tank this, actually. Wait, I have a ton of dodge. It surely... Surely I dodge this. <laughs> you know what? I have a shroom too. Here. Defense of us. I'm fine with this. I I think we're good. I have so much dodge boost. I forgot I have... Yeah, I have double, right? Because I have the magic chain one and I also have the crit one. How many turns? Crit is three... Wait, no. Yeah, they're both three. Wow. Amazing. This build is definitely insane. Pretty good, I'm happy. I, I do think it could have been better, obviously, removing more normal cards, but there are situations where normal attacks are good, so I'm not too disappointed. Yeah, I, I don't know if I want to redraw necessarily. I probably should, but since I drew the block, I should probably just use it. Just stack crit boost. Perfect dodge, or like, let's go. Let's fucking go. Kinda wish I had the buff extension node. That would have helped a lot for crit. Should be lethal. There's gonna be at least one crit here, yep. Great. This might be the best build I have for Urza. It's kinda close though. 34. It's pretty close to my first build, but it's definitely better because we have the... Ah, pretty bad additional skills. Really bad RNG on the additional skills. Okay, not much I can do here. Alright, let me look at this. So triple crit buff. I like that I have two copies of each of the base chain plus an alternate chain. That's really strong. Good burst damage card. Crit buffs, crit multiplier boost. Also an MP start a battle, crit chance start a battle, a lot of dodge, so a lot of like self-sufficient sustain for the most part. Pretty Yeah, so recurring buffs. It's it's really good. It's the most solid build I have so far, for sure. Alright, gonna save that here. Definitely good for that. So, okay, Natsu, new starter cards. Could be cool. All right, we'll have to check those out next time. New Lucy starter. Scorpio is the dodge build, I think. Let's, let me check that real quick. Scorpio. Scorpio. Is it Crustacean Palace? Wait, I don't remember. No, Scorp yeah, Scorpio is the dodge boost. Okay. Well, we can definitely do this. I do think a dodge boost build is viable. It is somewhat RNG for sure, but why not? And then the key... I guess I can just check the... Wait, can I just check the amulets? You start with a purple card? Okay, it's not Crustacean Palace. Wait. Purple card. I don't think I yeah I didn't I didn't pick it. But starting with a purple card is kind of crazy. I can see why the, the meta progression just starts giving you like pretty crazy stuff. Let me just check Natsu's one. This is a remo so remove block into self scaling damage thing. I, I don't I don't like this too much, but I think I can check. I think I've picked that before. No, I haven't. Okay. <laughs> I've picked like no Natsu, Natsu purple cards. They're all shit, I think. <laughs> the ones I've seen. A lot of the purple cards are two mana, I think. Which is why they're hard to pick. Or three mana sometimes. So they're just very inefficient in this game. By the way, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.